Hi, Chuck here again. I decided to put this video together today because it's really windy outside in Denver today and gray and just really yucky. So this gave me a chance to put out this video for this thing that I had been working on for a while. So one of the modifications that I did to my Turner G 9X radio is I went out and got a FR Sky module for it. And when you install this module, one of the things you have to do is deinstall the OEM transmitter. And that really involves desoldering and really just permanently taking it out of your radio. So I decided that I wanted to use my transmitter, my OEM transmitter. And the easiest thing to do was to go ahead and uh, make up a plate for the module on my 3D printer. And it was a pretty easy modification. So once you have your OEM module taken out, you can go ahead and install it into um, the OEM module and uh, use this plate to create a swappable, pluggable module. So it makes it really convenient to do other things with your transmitter and your um, your receiver that came with the with your Turnigy 9X. I just use mine to test motors and ESCs on a little test rig, so it's pretty helpful. And um, it's just a really good module. So let me just quickly go through some of the steps that it takes to install this, and you can take a look on my Thingiverse page to get the files and the detailed pictures. So, so here you go. So the first thing you're gonna need is get a pigtail. And um, you'll go ahead and strip the end off so you can get ready to solder that directly to the OEM board. And once you get that soldered to the board, you can fit all of this inside the OEM case, the backing. So now all you need to do is put together the top. The first thing you need to do is assemble the latch mechanism and this clips into the OEM case. So just attach it with some tape here and put a couple drops of uh, super glue on it. And then you take the lid and just put it on top and remove the tape. And that'll allow you to affix the latch in the correct spot on the lid. Uh, you'll, need, you'll need to use a couple spacers to keep the door away from the board and keep the board situated. So go ahead and glue those onto the door as well. And it, it'll uh, pr provide that clearance that I was talking about and it keeps the board from rattling inside the case. So just go ahead and uh, install that pigtail into the new lid and you can get that closed right up and uh, right back at it. So thanks a lot. Hope this video was helpful and have a great day.